What's up guys and welcome to the first video in my Python programming series. This series is designed to take someone with absolutely no programming experience and turn them into a coding machine. So what we'll do in this specific video is that I'm going to start off by explaining why you should learn Python. Then we'll actually install Python 3, which is the most up-to-date Python version. Then we'll install a program called Sublime Text, which allows you to write your code in a simple manner. And it also looks really nice. So that's why we're going to use it for these videos. I might show you a more complex editor called PyCharm in later videos, but that will be in probably like the fourth or fifth installment. And then finally, to end this video, we are going to write our first basic Python program. And I also just want to note that this tutorial series will work in Windows, Mac, and Linux. So whatever setup you have, it will work. All right, so why should you learn Python? Well, to begin, you can do almost anything with it from web app development to making simple games to data science, Python is a universal language. A second reason you should learn Python is because it has a very user-friendly syntax. It is the language that is the most like plain old English. And as a result of this, it is very approachable by users of all ages and experience levels. A third reason you should learn Python is for the potential career benefits. Python developers can expect to make about $100,000 a year. And even if money is not the most important thing to you, being a developer gives you a lot of flexibility in your kind of career. I mean, you can work from all over the world uh, doing remote software jobs, which kind of gives you a lot of flexibility in whatever you want to do in your life. And also, I just want to note that even if you don't want to become a software developer, Python can help you in a lot of ways. Maybe you want to eventually make a, your own website or make a mobile app. Um, Python puts you on the right track to do that. And also, in no matter what job field you are, you usually can find a way that programming can make your life easier. Um, in a bunch of different jobs, you can automate tasks with the Python programming language and save yourself time. All right, if these reasons sound good to you, let's get started with this tutorial series. All right, to begin the installation process, open up a new internet tab, doesn't matter what you use, and type in www.python.org. This is where you will get the Python language. Go to Downloads, and then you'll see you have two options, Python 3.6 and Python 2.7. We are going to download Python 3.6 because it is the most up-to-date version and the version that the Python developers are actively maintaining. I think they will be phasing out Python 2 over the next few years. So click that. It might take a little bit to download. Um, I'm using a Windows machine, but as I said before, this will also work on Linux and Mac. All right. So click on the download file and just wait for it to load and yeah you see this if you're on Windows you'll see install now and before you click that make sure you add Python 3.6 to the path this will make your installation process a lot easier because the text editor that we will install in a few minutes will easily be able to find Python 3.6 if this is clicked so make sure that's clicked and then hit install now and I don't think if you're a Mac or a Linux user you probably won't see any sort of path thing just do the normal installation all right shouldn't take too long to install I'll just time travel real quick all right I've successfully sped up time and my Python installation is successful so I can close out of this and then we're going to go on to install our second program and that is sublime text 3 just a really good uh, simple text editor that you can write all sorts of code from in pretty much any language you want. So it works with Python, it works with Java, it works with C, C++. Um, it's just a very bare bones and just easy language to understand. So sublimetext.com, enter. And as you can see, a sophisticated text, text editor for code, markup and prose, and click download for your operating system. 
All right, cool, it is downloaded, so click on the executable file. Uh, yes, I can make changes to my computer. Uh, welcome to the Sublime Text Setup Wizard. Yep, the default place is fine. Fine, fine, install. All right, so now we have Sublime Text 3 on our computer and we have Python 3. So what we're gonna do now is, with whatever operating system you have, open up that newly downloaded Sublime Text. Sublime Text 3 is the most up-to-date version. Uh, you might have saw Sublime Text 2 on my computer, but I am now using Sublime Text 3. All right, so now we have this blank template. So we're gonna write our first very basic program. And we're gonna do, ah, uh, we'll just save it. So go and just save your file as something like test.py. Doesn't really matter where you save it. I'm just gonna save it right here in my documents folder. And make sure you include this .py file extension. That's how the Sublime Text knows that it is a Python file and will run with the Python interpreter accordingly. So save that. And then what I want you to do to check to see if your Python is working is type in print. Oh shoot, let me make this a little bigger so you can see. Print hello world. This is like the most basic program in any language. And we'll put a couple exclamation points in for uh, good measure. Save that with control S. And if you're on a Mac or Linux, it might be command S. So just know that. And then you can go to your tools and you can actually build the Python code with control B for me, it might be command B for Mac users. Do that. And yes, click Python, that's right. And as you can see, it ran it down there, just printed out hello world. And one thing I wanna note is as a window user, everything will definitely be set up successfully at this point in time. But as a Mac and Linux user, you might actually be using Python 2 by accident. So what I want you to do is type in the top of your code, import sys, and then type in print sys.version. And you don't have to understand what I'm doing right now. This is just so you can check to see if you have the right version on your computer. And if you run that, so as I said before, you run it with control B, or whatever it says right here. And, or you can just go to tools and click on the actual build. And as you can see, it tells me right here that I do have Python 3.6.4, which is the most up-to-date version of Python as I make this video. Your number might be a little higher than that. The one thing is, if your number is, starts with a two here, then you don't have Python 3 properly set up in Sublime Text. And we can fix that really easily. So what I want you to do is go to tools, go to build a system, new build system. And in the description, I have a little piece of text there. I want you to copy that and paste it in the untitled.sublime build file. So it should look like this. And then you can go ahead and save that and save it with a name like Python space three because it'll make it look better when you actually run with this build system. Save that. And now if we go over here to tools and uh, build systems, you'll see I have Python. So if you had Python two running there, that's what you were running originally. Now if you select your Python three option and run this again, it will show up with the 3.6.4. And if you still are getting an error, um, go into this and you probably will have to change this Python 3. So what you want to do is you want to go into a new terminal on Mac or Linux, uh, Windows users, you should already have been all set and type in which Python 3. And then whatever that value is, just copy that and paste it in right where uh, this is right here. And then save it again. All right, that's all I got for now. We've set up our Python environment and we wrote our first very simple Hello World program. If you run into any problems during this tutorial, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. And then I'm gonna be posting tutorial videos weekly, so make sure to subscribe to not miss any of those. Peace.